Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hello, it's fighting feathers. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> fighting feathers? I know what you're thinking, you're wondering where we've been for the last six weeks. It's about six weeks since we did a video, isn't it? It's a long one. The reason we've got feathers everywhere is because we have a bird in our summer house. Um, not any old bird. Let me just, you probably can hear birds, but this is not any old bird. It's him. It's a cuckoo. Say hello, Cokes. Hi, Cokes. That's Coco the parrot. There he is, saying hello. <laughs> so, <laughs> he doesn't usually perform like that when you ask him to. Yeah, so he's a good boy, Cokes. He keeps us busy. He uh, makes plenty of mess with his feathers for you to keep cleaning up, doesn't he? Yeah. But he's a good boy, really. He won't talk on demand, so we can't get him to talk to you, but he normally doesn't shut up. He wakes us up every morning, this time of year, about half past four. Seagull noises. Yeah, he lives impersonating the local seagulls. <laughs> Which you might hear a few of those in the video. Anyway, we've been absent for about six weeks. Why have we been away so long, Helen? Well, we've had work done at the house um, outside. We've had uh, a new lawn laid, a new turf, with new patios and paths, and a new driveway. We decided to get the whole lot done in a wanna and get rid of all the mess <laughs> and be finished. Yeah. I don't like mess myself, so it's been quite hard, hasn't it? It has, because it's been like three weeks with the builders in. Uh, and when they started in April, it was snowing here. Uh, and by the time they finished, um, it was boiling hot. So the, the temperature and the weather changed dramatically. But it's not just having three weeks of the builders in, it's the mess they leave behind. It took us a good couple of weeks. Um, no disrespect to the builders, because they're doing a great job. But we had to, you know, we've just been finding lots of dust, mm. cement and sand and stuff. And then just to get things how you want them, just so, requires a, some input from us as well. So we've been busy doing that, haven't we? We, have, we couldn't go anywhere because you have to be here for let them have electric in the garage and open the gates and yeah. security-wise as well. So we couldn't go anywhere. So we have had a, a, a trip away locally. We'll show you where we went to. And also we've got uh, another trip planned. But we should have been in Scotland now, June the we? 1st, we should have left, yeah. The plan was to do like three, three and a half weeks in Scotland and for the second year on the bounce we've had to cancel. Primary reason for cancelling was? Um, it's it's the little dog, it's Gizmo. Um, he's not been the same since he's lost his brother no. in February and uh, he is stiff, I mean he's 15, he is stiff. He's on supplements, Yeah. Uh, he sees the doctor, sorry the vet, regular and mm. um, he's on everything he can be but I think to go on such a long journey with him yeah. might not be quite fair to him so we've kind of squashed that one yeah we have we did, you know it's a long time in the car up to Scotland I know we, we always break the journey up but it's not just that we're then touring for two and a half weeks and he gets um, it's very tired very quickly and so we just thought we'd stick local for a bit didn't we that said we have got a little plan to go to Derbyshire very soon and we'll show you a separate video. We're going to go to Matlock. But even that, we're going to break that journey up. And that would be like four hours from here. But we're going to just do a couple of hours and never yeah. stop, aren't we? So um, so in this video, I want to show you <coughs> some footage now of, of our trip to Barmer Hall Farm at the garden site at Siderston near Fakenham. Is uh, an idyllic site, very quiet, adult only, by the way. Silver birch trees there. There are some horses in the fields, but they're a little, little way off, so we'll try and get some pictures of those when they're a bit closer. Nice walks as well. There's a big, well, it's wood, I wouldn't call it a forest, but it's a wood, and you can go some lovely trails through there. And they all lead back to the campsite, to the farm. Or you can walk along this lane and then there's some public footpaths along the fields. But you know, it's a long walk to anywhere from here to be fair. Nevertheless, if you want tranquility, one of my favourite words, then this is the place to be. Watching Bry, a few trees for you, mate. He loves his trees.
Oh, here comes the sunshine. Yeah, they come, here come the holiday makers. Look, got sunglasses on and everything. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Bird. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been holidaying in caravans, you two? Uh, 11 years now. 11 years? You don't look old enough. <laughs> <laughs> you flatterer. <laughs> I know, I can't help it. I can't help it. And here comes a dog whisperer. This is Helen, she's had her hair done. She had the rollers in 10 minutes since. Quickness. You'd never know. <laughs> and the designated dog walking area is like no other. You open this door, wander through into the woodland, pause and just take in the bird song and the lovely scenery. Magical. And the pathways through this woodland area, well, they just meander and they go on and on. And it's great. They really are. It's perfect for, for dog walkers, but you don't need to have a dog to go and enjoy this, uh, this area of North Norfolk. It really is fantastic. You need a car or you need a bike at least. And um, yeah, about 15 minutes from the coast, 10 minutes from Burnham Market. You're really central. But the great thing is you're just away from all the hustle bustle. So as you can see, really private. We liked it there. We're definitely going to go back, aren't we? Yeah, we'll go back. It's quite local to us, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't take long to get there. Great site. Only got 30 grass fishes, isn't it? It's really good site. It's well kept and they clean the toilets regular. There's gel everywhere. I must say it's, it's quite good. It's a gem of a place. It really is. It's adult only. Um, nothing against kids because we've got plenty of kids and grandkids of our own. But it's also nice to just get some peace and quiet, isn't it? Very tranquil there. But 15 minutes from, maximum 15 minutes, drive to Wells and Ecstasy, which um, is absolutely beautiful on the North Norfolk coast. Wells, Burnham Market, Fakenham. Burnham Market, very posh at Burnham Market. Some nice pubs, all very dog friendly as well. Yeah. Um, Fakenham, and then not far from Sandringham, if you want to go and visit Sandringham House. And Heacham. Heacham and Hans Stanton. Now at Heacham, of course, you've got your lavender farm that you Yeah, want. I always got the lavender farm by Lavender Candles. Lavender spray, lavender stress gel. <laughs> Wonder what that's for. Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Lavender lip lip balm. What's that for? What the lip balm? <laughs> yeah. the lavender song. lip balm. You bought <laughs> lavender scones, lavender lip balm, lavender tea. What else did you buy? Oh, loads of lavender. Stuff to spray on your pillow at night. Mm. To help you sleep. So, uh, hand wash. You know, and, uh, and a bill for about 70 odd quid. But that said, no. It, well, I bet <laughs> 20, it was. 20 something. No. Anyway, it's, it's worth going to the Lavender Farm if you're in North Norfolk. It's a place called Heacham, yeah. which is right on the coast near Hanstanton. And again, only like 15 minutes from, um, from the site that we're talking about. Let's go over to the caravan for a minute. Simple, really. Uh, just a little lock here. If Helen can zoom in. Oops. slots off and then literally lift drop down and there it is so we've got two of those we've got one on the other side of the van as well oh. but a little bit of peace of mind really and then obviously just pop the lock back on easy peasy so this is my trusty map which I've bought, you've probably seen them before. It's um, a county's map, so it's all different colour of the counties. But what I was going to do... Are you going to do, do the weather forecast? Looks like you're going to do no. the weather forecast. What I was going to do was map out, of course, we were going to go up to Scotland and across to the west, and we were going to go down to Cornwall and Devon, mm. but we're not. So the only ones we've done recently has all been almost in this county. Yeah. Um, apart from the Mildon Hall one. But what I was going to do originally was, I've got these little sticky balloons 
and I was going. This is where we start from here on the coast. Yeah. And I was going to do different colours for different trips. Okay. So we've still got other. We've got two more, haven't we? Two or three more. Yeah. Um, trips. We, we've kept a hold of the um, Denton Abbey tour because that was all booked and paid for. So we're going to go to the Cotswolds for a few days first, cross over to Winchester and then come home. So that's probably going to be the furthest one we're going to do this year. When are we going there? I forgot. July. July. Yeah, beginning of July. So we, uh, that's, in the, that's in the diary as well. So there's normally a mirror behind there, isn't there? Yeah, the mirror's just we've, here. Look. Yeah, we've given up the mirror for the UK counties map. I must admit, must admit I do quite like it. You didn't at first. I didn't at first. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then when she started doing it, I thought, oh, I wish I'd thought of that. So the red ones were a recent trip with Mildon Hall and all that. And then the green ones are just some local ones that we've done. That was to Fickham. Yeah, and what's the other green one? Well, that, that's where we start from. Oh, so I it's see. A different colour yeah, too. Yeah. But this, this is to the, gar the garden. That's right, the garden site. Yeah. That's where it is, in North Cyberstone. Norfolk. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't go too far. We've just crossed over into Suffolk here, Mildon yeah. Hall. But next week, we'll be going up to Matlock. Which is there. Pretty much. So yeah. at least we're moving about a just, little bit. Just south of Chesterfield, uh, south sort of west of Chesterfield. Uh, we're going to have a little stop on the way in Lincolnshire down there near Spalding, well Boston really, yeah south of Boston at Walnut Lakes. Mm -hmm. mm. So you got the van already then love, it's looking pretty good. Yeah I've got the van ready. I noticed you took the carpets out. Yes it was too warm, they were red hot. Oh, yes. My shoes, well. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call them shoes, really. I don't know what I'd call them. So yeah, the carpets have gone. And apart from the little rug at the top. Um, oh, it's he, not a rug, it's a dog. He actually <laughs> loves it in here. He comes in here if the door's open. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Mm. So you can see the sun is shining again today. Lovely day. Mm. Right, she's very persistent about this lavender. What you got going yeah, on? Yeah, well, here we have the, the fragrant linen spray, sleep linen. So you spray your bed for that at night. It makes you sleep better. Are you on commission? No. Aromathy, arom, aromatherapy sleepy time gel and it smells lovely look does that stop people snoring it would have no nice. oh, it, it just smell no. really nice i must admit i did have a watch that gave you a shock when you snored but you won't wear it will you mm. lip balm let's have a smell of that well can, you have to tell you our word for it go have a little spray not on my camera oh yeah oh. <laughs> that smells nice um and just, to, you know, not that she's obsessed with lavender, but we've had lavender gin, <laughs> lavender shots. Lavender tea. Lavender tea. I lavender think, scones. Have you got lavender tea up here? Or did you take it in? Uh, I think I took it in. I think you took it in, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you've got Yorkshire tea here. Well, she's made the bed up nice. So a quick look. Yes, bed's made. Marvellous. Right, come on. We're boring you now. I can tell. Let's end this vlog. So that's it really isn't it? That's it for now. Yeah, hope you've uh, enjoyed this little catch up, this little vlog. It won't be six weeks till you see us next. We'll be in Derbyshire next. Next week. Yeah. Next week in Derbyshire. Yeah. It might not be next week that you see the video though. We'll just have to see how we get on with all that. But thanks for tuning in. Big thank you to all the new subscribers. People have kept subscribing which is absolutely fantastic. And still lots of views yeah, going on to the site yeah. which is nice. So we really appreciate that. And um, yeah, thank you and see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.